Okay, today I would like to demonstrate my dual ceiling fan PMAs operating uh, from a small pond here in Foster, Rhode Island. It's only maybe a quarter to a half an acre, something like that. Comes around. Okay, here's the water going out. All right, has a three inch pipe with flexible fittings coming in. All right, I made a little makeshift uh, dam here. Feeding down probably less than four feet of head. Okay, there's also a black plastic pipe there. That's an inch and a half. That's also bringing in a little extra water power. Okay, but here we are with my water wheel set up, which is basically two uh, bicycle, two bicycle wheels with cups, four inch cups for plumbing. Um, actually, they're end caps. Uh, there's the three inch pipe coming in. Um, on the bottom, you can see the inch and a half black plastic is giving me impulse power, while the one on the top gives me both impulse and uh, the weight of the water. Okay, I have a third wheel out here, which is my drive wheel. Okay, it's um, the bigger the better because it uh, feeds to the front uh, PMAs, which have the smaller pulley. So the big pulley on the back uh, translates to faster speed for the front smaller pulleys. Now, looking at the front, we have two uh, converted ceiling fan motors with external magnets, the um, rare earth magnets, being run by just a very thick um, plastic band. All right, now the interesting thing is that each one of these ceiling fans has two separate um, external feeds. Uh, we can, it's almost like having two generators in one, and uh, they don't put out a lot of uh, amperage, although I can get the same, about the same voltage, about 40 volts on each line. Okay, so looking at these wires, this set of wires here, and don't pay attention to the colors, they don't mean much because this is actually AC, but this is going to my house and charging batteries. All right, so again, I've got about 50 volts going in, which, you know, as soon as it hits the batteries, it it gets pulled down to whatever the batteries are, but it is charging the batteries. This one right here uh, is, oops, I don't want to touch them. Okay, again, it's 60 volts, so it does give you a shock, but not uh, severe. Okay, that's going to this outlet, which is that light. Okay, so on that one PMA, I'm feeding, I'm charging batteries, and I have that nice light. Okay, the second PMA, I only have one set of the wires hooked up, okay, and that goes over here to this outlet, and this outlet is feeding that light, and we're going to take a quick walk, I hope we can do this very fast, if we go all the way through to, I'm going to try to do this quickly, I know people lose, uh, lose their attention span on these videos. So I'm gonna go really fast, but we're going up here to this tree house, and I'd like to show you that that other ceiling fan is supplying the tree house with power. I'm going as fast as I can, folks. All right. Dee, 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 dee. This treehouse is as much for me as it is for my grandchildren. So, there's the pond. My wire comes up from the... Let's see if I can get that. There's the line going out, the uh, pipe going out. So it's right over the bank. Coming back. Let's go into the tree house. Okay. 
And here's the light. Let's see here. Oh no. There it is. There it is. Okay. Peeking up in there, see? There we go. So that's power from the pond. So I'm supplying two separate buildings with power. Not a lot, but it can be used to charge batteries. It can be used for um, lighting. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun. So, signing off from Foster, Rhode Island.